Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I am feeling, I was done, I was going to watch a movie, but I'm feeling like somebody is battling fear, tremendous fear. I don't know why. I don't know what you're afraid of. I don't know if you're having a panic attack. If you are, I bind it and command it to shut down and go in the name of Jesus. Listen, whatever your fear is, fear is not of God. Fear has torment. God is love and perfect love casts out fear. So you have no need to fear if you serve Jesus Christ because your authority has been given to you by him. Jesus is not in the tomb. He's very much alive. You serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. Know that he is living, no matter what man may say. Listen, I want you to hear this because sometimes we have to be reminded that we serve a risen Savior. You have to be reminded that you have nothing to fear. If God be for you, who can be against you? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You are more than a conqueror. You can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. Get in that word and quote it to yourself and encourage yourself in the Lord. Fear not. Jesus is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let not your heart be troubled. Ha. Huh. Okay. Listen to this. I want you now this song is a little old fashioned. It's a cappella. But I'm not looking for something to tickle your ears. I'm looking for something to calm your spirit. Listen to this song. This will remind you that Jesus is very much alive, no matter what man may say. Listen. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is Whatever they say, he's alive. He's always here. He lives. He lives. He ain't dead. He's with you everywhere. Never leave you or forsake you. That's right. He lives within my heart. Now, I want to tell you why I have a hope. Why do I serve the Lord? Why do I trust the Lord? Because every single time in my life when Satan attacked me, the name of Jesus got me out of his grip. Praising God got, got him out of my face. You have authority. Use it. Get used to using the name of Jesus as a baseball bat and picture the devil or any of those demons as the ball. Hit them out the ballpark, baby. They're out of your turf. Get out of my face. Shut up. Go. Leave. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Period. There is no discussion. I don't want to know your name. I don't know. I don't want to know where you came from. I don't want to know where you're going when I rebuke you. I could care less. Go. In the name of Jesus. Go. Listen what I do at night. Because sometimes some of you are afraid to sleep at night because you get attacked so so readily by demons. Um, before I go to bed, I lay there and I say, Lord, surround my bed or my chair if I decide to sleep here. Surround my bed with your guardian, warring, and ministering angels. And Lord, please orchestrate, direct. 
anoint, bless my sleep and my dreams in the name of Jesus. Then I take authority. I rebuke all demonic forces and all demons to leave me alone. You will not mess with me. You are out of my house. You're off my property. You're not allowed. I forbid you. You must go. You must stay gone. Never to return in the name of Jesus. And guess what? I'm out like a light, baby cakes. And I sleep like a log, too. You have nothing to fear. Who shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when my enemies and my foes come against me to eat up my flesh? I will not fear. God is for me. <sighs> okay. You get the point. Have a good night's sleep in the bosom of your Lord and Savior. Sweet dreams.